Hi guys, Mike here. Today we are talking about Scurrius, the brand new boss on Old School RuneScape. He has some insane combat XP at the mid level and at the end game. It's actually best in slot melee XP as far as I know. And for a mid game boss, he is actually absolutely epic as well. So let's get right into it. Firstly, Scurrius is in Varric Sewers. You can find him right here. You can go in a group instance if you are a main account. If you're an Iron Man, you have to do a private instance, but mains can do private instances as well. He has 500 HP and he's pretty simple, but he does teach you a bunch of mechanics going into PVM for a new player, and that is the idea of this boss, and that is great. His mechanics consist of falling rocks, which you just have to sidestep, a mage attack that is lightning that you just have to flick mage to before it hits you. A range attack of some gas cloud that he's throwing at you that you just switch to range to. And then his typical melee attack otherwise. He summons some minions. You can kind of ignore them and pray melee and that's fine as well. He also eats the food in the instance. And you can kind of just attack him while he's doing that. And he'll heal a little bit while he does that. Which actually isn't a bad thing because it's even more XP per kill. So that's quite nice. You can also eat from his food pile when out of combat every 10 minutes to regain full HP, which is really nice. It's like Gobble's Dungeon Altars, but instead of prayer, it's just health. Now let's talk about his drops. He drops three weapons, which are made from the spines that he does give you. These weapons are really, really strong against rats. So against him, they get a plus 10 max hit, and they are absolutely beastly. And then this causes some really high experience an hour. And honestly, the spines are pretty common. I am estimating them to be like a 1 in 25. This means you're going to get your weapon pretty quickly. And then you're going to start getting really good experience. So let's talk about that experience. The melee experience here I was getting with just a default melee setup and some strength bonus from like Fighter Torso, Fire Cape, etc. I was pushing 140k strength experience an hour. Whenever I'm doing something like Nightmare Zone and I'm AFKing, it's like 70k strength experience an hour. So this is kind of insane. And I think Darok's Nightmare Zone pushes like 110k strength experience an hour. So this is way better than that. And it's a good active way to get best in slot strength XP. It's super, super good. When it comes to range, the bow is actually free tick attack speed, making it pretty damn good. And the range XP I was getting here was just slightly lower than the strength XP, but my range gear is slightly worse than my melee, and I don't have rigor. So I was pushing about 130k range experience an hour. If I had rigor and a bit better gear, I probably could match the melee experience an hour. Obviously this is outclassed by chins, but it doesn't cost any supplies except for rune arrows. And he even drops rune arrows to give you some of your supplies back, which is really awesome. So for the input, this is absolutely nuts. Then for magic, magic was definitely the worst one. It was about 105k magic experience an hour. Again, I don't have the best gear ever, so you might be able to push this a little bit higher, but it's still decent. The reason why it's still decent is all it costs is one chaos rune per cast. So it's a very cheap way to level up your mage, especially for iron men at that mid game or even later on in the game. Over 100k experience an hour for Chaos Runes? Sign me up, honestly. When it comes to his drops, he drops a bunch of rune items. He drops a prayer pot, a bit of food, so you can, like, restock your supplies. And, obviously, those bone spines. Once you've made your weapons, you can then just start trading them in for XP with the guy outside. You can get 5k XP in any combat style, or 3,500 prayer XP. I don't really know why you would choose a combat XP instead of prayer. Prayer is definitely the play. 3,500 prayer XP per spine and you probably average 1-2 to two spines an hour. Add some extra prayer XP on top of this. So you could definitely push in total with like HP XP and the prayer XP from the spines and stuff. A good 180 to 190k experience an hour which is pretty insane. Not to mention, at that mid game, if you're like 50 attack and 50 strength, you can get the plus 10 damage boost on those weapons super early, making it even more impactful for that early grind. Yes, your experience an hour might not be quite as high, but it's still going to be insanely high and the best in slot rates that you're going to get at those levels. 
I'm rating this boss super highly and I absolutely love it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this boss and how you're liking it if you've tried it or whether you will be doing it. And do let me know if you liked this video as it's different to my normal content. If you want more stuff like this and first looks of updates and stuff, let me know because this was some of my favorite content that I like to make on RS3. So if I can continue doing it in old school, great. And I'll see you guys later for another Group Iron Man progress video very soon. And as always, until next time, see ya.